Welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins and I'm happy to bring you this very beginner tutorial where I will be using only 10 pastels and I'll be creating this painting in about five minutes. And while this is a super easy and super fast tutorial, it contains a lot of principles that are important to just about any artwork. Here are the basic supplies that are very affordable, even for the novice artist. I'm using Canson unsanded pastel paper. It's very affordable, and I'll talk more about it as I paint. The pastels you see lying there to the left are Prismacolor New Pastels. These are harder pastels in the realm of soft pastels, and they're also quite affordable. You might also want a charcoal pencil to sketch in your basic pear shape. I have another in a beginner series called Six Pastels. That happens to be a very popular video, so you might want to check that one out. I'll tag it at the end of this video. And before we get started, I hope you won't mind liking this video, subscribing to this channel, and if you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified of future videos. Those little things really do help. Also, if you would like to support this channel, would you consider becoming my patron? It's only $5 a month and you get extra goodies. And here we go. This is such a simple pear shape with a charcoal pencil. And I got my reference image. I didn't have a pear in my house, so I got it from pmp-art.com. I'll provide that link in the description of this video. Pastel number one is kind of a lemony yellow. I'm working from the lighter side of the pear. And the light source, obviously you can tell from the shadow, is on the left side. So the lighter pastels will be on the left. So I just got in a little bit of that really lemony yellow color. Now this pastel is a little bit more green. These differences are, are kind of subtle. I'm not even sure if you can tell from your computer screen, but I'm working it a little bit further down the pair. Notice also how I'm not making a hard edge. I love creating those soft edges. Things look more painterly that way. Now this you can tell is a little bit of a warmer green and I'm working it gradually around the pair um, to where it's getting a little bit darker where there are curves and where there might be a few shadows uh, but I'm staying still more on the lighter side of the pair with this. And there we go. There's three colors already. Color number four, we're gradually getting a little darker. We know that down uh, underneath the pair and working its way around to the back side, we're going to get darker values. And uh, this warm green worked perfect for that. Now, if you don't have these new pastels by Prismacolor, use what you have, but try to emulate the values even more than the color. Now, this particular pair was not just totally green. It had some nice golden tones as well. So I'm just working that in kind of where I saw it on the pair and um, just working it around. Now, I'm keeping kind of a, a medium pressure. You don't want to go too hard with this because you won't be able to get many layers. Um, the next color, I was going to go with that gold color, but I decided to go ahead, let's get the dark values in. So this is just really kind of like a dark uh, blue-gray color, and uh, I'm working it around the pair, and notice how I am able to get a little layering in. Sometimes, too, this uh, does create a little bit of uh, residue, so occasionally you'll see me um, blow it off. Be careful with blowing pastels. You don't want to stir up a lot of dust to breathe, but um, it does sometimes leave a little bit of residue. Now, I'm working that dark. I know there's some dark down on, in that little groove where the stem grows out of, and on the right side of the stem where the shadow is. And notice I'm keeping really gestural, um, painterly strokes. And I'm turning my pastel a little bit more on the side to paint. It's literally called painting with pastels. It's not drawing. Drawing is more with the tip of an object and more linear, but we're putting in blocks of color. And so now I've got my, there you saw me give a little blow there. So just be careful not to breathe um, pastel dust. Now I'm working with a little bit more of that brownish tone. I want to soften up some of the, um, the darker color and warm it up just a bit. And so I'm, I'm really just looking at my reference image to get an idea of where it's not quite so dark. Now I put a little bit of that in on the left side of the stem as well. And now I'm moving on to the next color, which is kind of that rusty color. And I'm working it also in some of those areas over the brown um, to kind of blend the light to the dark side and soften that edge a little bit. And I put a little hint of it on the left side of the stem 
them where the light is shining. Now I'm moving on to this. It's hard to tell from the video and your computer screen. This is actually a lighter yellow than the ones I used before. And I'm using it to give a little bit more of some of those brighter colors where the light might be shining. I'm also sneaking it, sneaking it around that little rim up top of the pear uh, where light is catching even on the other side uh, where it wraps around the stem. And now, I told you this was short, the final pastel number 10 is going to be my highlight. And I'm just putting the highlight literally where the light would be hitting the pear and um, giving that really the three-dimensional feel from the values we've created here. And now actually I'm going to just use my finger to lightly blend. It's going to soften the textural look of this Canson paper. I don't want to over blend, but can you see how it softened it up? Really gave a nice painterly three-dimensional pear in less than five minutes with 10 affordable pastels on an affordable pastel surface. So it's like I often say, painting really isn't all that hard once you know a few rules. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Again, please give me a like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I love to hear what you have to say. Check out this other video and God bless and happy painting.